I'm sure you're interested about natural and dietary supplements in Parkinson's disease. So, um, uh, will antioxidants or mitochondrial therapy help low the progression of slow the progression of Parkinson's disease? Well, we know that uh, we've heard that diets uh, diets are rich in antioxidants associated with low risk of Parkinson's disease. So we call it Mediterranean diet, but it actually. Um, you know, the case, someone who has been taking them, eating that diet from day one, you know, not if one has already developed Parkinson, then switching to the Mediterranean diet is not going to help at that point. So um, the, the observation is such that people who um, take omega um, uh, uh, food uh, rich in omega acid and uh, Mediterranean other, the fish, the nuts, all that, that those people have low risk of Parkinson's disease and frankly Alzheimer's disease as well. So um, we think that th those kind of um, foods, they, in, uh, they, they reduce uh, oxidation and uh, reactive oxygen species formation and that's protective for dopaminergic cells. However, as far as the vitamins are concerned, we've done trials, big trials on vitamin E, vitamin C, coenzyme Q10, and all those trials have failed. And uh, we're talking about very large phase three trials. The CoQ10 came out 2011, uh, very disappointing, completely negative. Uh, so there's no proven um, uh, benefit of any diet. We only based our suggestions sort of on observations of people who have been eating those diets all their life, and they happen to develop less Parkinson than people who, who don't. Now, let's look at that table probably you're interested in. Uh, sorry, it's so small, but again, it will be available uh, on the website. It's potential effect of plant-derived extracts against Parkinson pathology. So here, uh, that's the name of the herb. Uh, most common name is here, Brahimi or green tea, turmeric, uh, uh, maidenhair tree, velvet bean, and uh, ginseng. And so these are the uh, things that have been studied and uh, not studied at placebo control studies, but at least been reported, anecdotal reported, but still. This um, column shows the part of the plant that's supposed to be used, whole plant versus leaves versus seeds. And uh, you know, these are the mechanisms. So they apparently, uh, this one removes, um, uh, reduces alpha-synuclein aggregation. Uh, this one reduces apoptosis, its natural cell death is reduced. This one increases activity of mitochondrial um, activity and increases dopamine levels. This also increases dopamine levels and energy production. This reduces oxidative stress. Uh, this one in ginseng increases dopamine level and glutathione levels. So these are based suggested on the laboratory work. It's never been studied in placebo-controlled double-blind uh, trials uh, that proven to slow down disease progression. However, uh, the, and, and that table, if you wish to take these supplements, you're welcome to, uh, with the caveat that there's no proof that uh, guaranteed it's going to help. But um, you can... You'll have access to this table from that video and then you can just uh, write it down. But uh, now as far as the exercise. So far exercise is the only thing that's been proven to slow down disease progression. That's been proven uh, in animal models. So they took uh, mice and rats who had um, drug-induced Parkinsonism and uh, the half of them were put in the spinning wheel and they made to exercise the other half were just sedentary mice and they were both sacrificed both groups and they looked at the dopamine level in the brain of those mice and and long behold the, the mice who were exercising had more uh, dopamine they had better preservation of dopamine than mice who were sedentary so that's the, as far as the molecular proof of the role of exercise in the, on the brain. Uh, mind you that par uh, mice don't get Parkinson's disease per se, the old kind of induced Parkinsonian mo uh, mouse models of Parkinson, but still it's uh, dopaminergic degradation. Now, in human trials, we've seen proof that uh, the people uh, who exercise certainly uh, have better uh, clinical picture, they have less symptoms, they do better. So tango is good for mobility and balance. Uh, tai Chi uh, was published in New England Journal of Medicine probably 10 years ago that it uh, decreased risk of falls in Parkinson's disease. And um, the, the question whether these um, delay progression of the disease, I think based on the studies and animal studies it does, but in humans it's not proven really, uh, but I think so.